Hey team! What's up fam? Welcome back to another video. Those are all great shows, but tonight we are watching the A Team! Yeah! Alright, so finally we're gonna be giving you guys a bel very belated two-month baby update. It's not are they looking at each other? Oh my god! It's love at first sight. It is. Look at Mira, she looks so mad though. <laughs> Mira always looks like that, but she's actually a really happy baby. Huh? She is a happy baby. She's just sophisticated. You got <laughs> stinkies in your toe jam. You got toe jam. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna be bringing you guys a two month update, but before we get into this video, you guys know the drill. Leave this video a big thumbs up down below so we know that you like this video and we can make more of these update videos. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone wants to see updates get though, silly. right? <laughs> get, get silly. silly. Hey. <laughs> get silly. Hey. But I'm pretty sure everyone wants to see more updates of the babies, right? I'm pretty yeah. sure they're always gonna want to see that. But also consider subscribing while we're on the topic, guys. We have a family channel, um, Family Fun. That's the name of the game around here, right? So yeah, consider subscribing if you want to see more stuff like this. Baby how-tos, some pranks, some challenges, some babies. We got two babies and, and a four-year-old. And they're matching today a little bit. Color coordinating. Oh, so cute. Okay, so the babies are actually two and a half months right now. We actually went to the doctors about two weeks ago. Um, but we still want to give you guys an update because they're just growing up so fast and they're just so cute. Now, just look at them. They know nothing about nothing. Nothing about nothing. <laughs> So they both um, gained a ton of weight, honestly. They, Azara is actually nine and a half pounds now. So she gained a whole, what is it, pound and a half? Um, two pounds. Two pounds? Oh wait, she was eight. Yeah, pound and a half. Almost yeah. a pound and a half. And then Amira is only a half pound behind her, so she has nine pounds now. And she was at seven pounds, four ounces at her one month checkup. So she gained almost two pounds. Two pounds. That's crazy. Look at her. She, she's so unbothered. She's like, I don't want to be here. She's like, I'm done for today. <laughs> no. Hi. Crazy thing is Mira was like a pound or a pound and a half less than Zara, right? When she was born. Was it just a pound? About she was 5'5". Five five, she was 6'3". So, so almost, almost pound, exactly a pound. Almost yeah. a pound, yeah. And she's caught up like so much. Yeah. So that's And then um, Azara is 22 and a half inches tall. And Amira is 22, so yeah. they're only. They're like know. neck and neck. Yeah, they're both so tall. I feel like I don't know if that's normal for two yeah. months, I don't know. but I they just like tall. they're still at newborn sizes because they're still really small, but they're so tall that like their toes are like getting squished in newborn size. Yeah. So now they're just gonna have to go on three months. I feel like. Yeah, sooner or later. Or but... we're gonna have to cut holes in the in the bottom, <laughs> have their toes stick out. I'm just we're... kidding. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> We need to get them little baby belts. Little baby belts? Yeah, because cause if like we put karate? them in three... <laughs> no, like, if you put them in three months, they fit it, like, lengthwise, but they don't yeah, fit, like, the saying, waist. Yeah. So if you put a baby belt... I like, gotcha. Belt. I didn't know they had those. <laughs> Azara looks like she would be in karate. The, how? She just does. She's a baby. <laughs> She'd be moving like that sometimes. <laughs> they actually are starting to eat so much more now. They're still on formula, and I would say they're going closer to the four um, ounces every couple hours. Yeah, yeah, because so. we usually put like four ounces in the bottle, and they they used to eat like two. Yeah, they would just drink about two at a and time. And yeah, now they're like, to... well, Zara's been four eating every four. time. Yeah, yeah, Zara's been eating four, but Mira's catching up now. Yeah. And I think their their bellies are like the size of an eggy. Isn't is that, that what it is? I think so. Yeah. At least when they're at one month, it might be even bigger now, but that's crazy to think yeah, about. Yeah, that is crazy. Like an actual egg that you eat. Yeah. Egg. And then yours is like a water run. Oh, me? <laughs> yeah. Mine's like a truck. A truck. <laughs> and then for feeding for us, like, we've done, um, Autumn was breastfeeding for like the first couple weeks, almost a month. Uh, but it was really hard to do when I was gone because I had to yeah. go back to school. So we switched to formula and um, Zara was on the, not, Zara's on the new Tramogen, which is more expensive, but it's easier on the belly. And then Amira's on Infamil Gentle Ease. Which is still gentle. Yeah, it's gentle. It's easier on the belly, but it's not as expensive. Like the new Tramogen's oh, like 10 gosh. or $15 more than Infamil. Yeah, like her formula, a can that lasts probably, what do you say, maybe three days? A can? Yeah. Yeah, about... About three or four days. 
um, is $28, her formula. Yep. And then Amira's, I want to say, is like $18.99 or $19, which is still crazy. But that's a big difference. Yeah, huge yeah. difference. And then another thing, though, that goes along with that is like two months in, we've already ran out of diapers a lot. Oh my gosh. We've ran out of diapers. I thought a lot. we had a lot of diapers because we literally had the baby's closet up top full of diapers. We had our hall closet and our closet all full of diapers. And all the newborns were gone. I think I've bought newborn diapers maybe four times already. Yeah. And we got, we and had we a had diaper raffle. We yeah. have twins, so you have to think of how many diapers we got. Yeah, it's double what a normal person would go through. But it's crazy because we got a lot of diapers from our um, baby shower because we did a diaper raffle or whatever, yeah. right? Aww. And we literally thought we were stacked. But, and we still have a ton of diapers left, but it's just, we ran out of newborns so many times, so you just got to keep in mind of that. Yeah. So next we want to talk about how they're actually starting to coo. Coo, coo, Like, I can't get over it. I know, it's like they're little talkers, they're especially Amira. They're cooing, and they, when we went to the doctors, they said they should start, like, straight giggling within the next two months. But they're, like, already, like, when they smile, they do a little giggle, but it's not, like, a full giggle yet. Mm -mm. But you can tell they're, like, figuring out their voice. Yeah. And I'll talk to them, and they'll be like, ooh. <laughs> mm. I got you. I'm gonna get it again. <gasps> <laughs> I'm gonna get him. <laughs> and then we'll put Azara under um what is it like a little play mat where yeah. it has like the lights up top and music. Oh burper. And she will literally just look at the lights and just smile and do her little cooing. <laughs> Look at Zar. Look at you having fun in here, huh, Zar? You have anything you want to say? I'm done with this. Just feed me already. So along with feeding, I also thought that babies could start drinking water around three months. Um, I'm not really sure why I thought that, but I asked the doctors or the pediatrician, and she said to actually wait until closer to six months because you don't want the babies to miss out on all the nutrients in the formula because when you have water, you don't have all that. Alright, so next what we want to talk about is sleeping and tummy time. Speaking of sleeping, she's like falling asleep. <laughs> That's why her head's like that. Big drool? She, Big drool? She's getting sleepy. Anyway, so for sleep, like we've noticed when the first month, they only slept for like an hour to three hours max. She was sleeping? Yes. Oh my gosh. So for the first month, they only slept for like an hour to three hours max, so it was really hard to get anything done. Now we've noticed they sleep definitely a lot longer, yeah, and they sleep better five through the night. Hours. Yeah, sometimes they sleep a while. But I they will sleep say a lot too, more. for twins, we are blessed, because I think they sleep really well. Yeah, they sleep twins. really good. They're not exactly on the same schedule, but they're close enough, and... I feel like they do really well. Yeah, it works out yeah. pretty good. And the reason why we want to talk about tummy time with sleeping is because we just had them both doing tummy time, and that's why Amir pooped out. So yeah, it helps just make. And them she sleep. even did it at the doctor. So the doctor was like, "Oh yeah, the oh, doctor was my gosh. Going crazy." Where are you Look going? At you, girl. Look at you hold your head up. Oh my goodness. Look at her army crawl. <laughs> oh, man. Amira. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Good job, Amira. Wow, she's literally about to flip over. <laughs> Azara's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did, yeah, yeah, too. <laughs> you should never trust your baby, especially at two months, do not trust them because Amira has already rolled over twice. I think Azara's on like a half roll, so just don't trust them. Yeah, she's a little chunkier, so it's harder to get up, but like once she gets to halfway, she's just gonna flop right over. Oh, yeah, a little chunk of bunk. The last thing we want to talk about is what to expect at the doctors. I know we kind of already brushed over it, but the big, big thing, like we said, obviously they're gonna take their weight and stuff like that, which they did the first month. And if some people get shots the first month, we did, but not everybody, so that's the big thing we want to touch on is they're gonna have at least three um, vaccines, so it's mm -hmm. gonna be. Two, for sure two oral, or for sure two shots and then one oral. And then if you didn't get vaccines the first month, they're gonna have another one. So they might have four all together. Yeah. Uh, so that would be three shots and one oral vaccine. So just be ready for that because your babies are gonna get poked a ton and it's really sad. They but did really well. 
Yeah, depending on the baby, they do really well. Usually, it's only a little bit of crying. It made me feel better, too, because the lady that was giving them their shots, as soon as she did the shot, she, you know, would put a Band-Aid on it. It was like, okay, okay, like, hug up, kiss them, like, give them all this loving. And so, like, after I did that, they, like, started, they stopped crying. Yeah. So. Yeah, just get ready to give them some loving. Huh? Yeah, they did good. All right, so the next thing, the last thing we want to say about the doctors is I think you do appointments one month, two months, and then four, four months mm -hmm. and then six months yep or, six and then nine and twelve i think yeah and you pretty much get shots all of those appointments yeah if i'm not mistaken so just be ready to give the babies a bunch of love and huh baby yeah. girl right, so that wraps up today's video as you can see amira is just over it and zara's getting irritated with me she's she ready to, to go walk for a, around she wants to walk around oh no oh wow she's completely done with but me but you're so beautiful you are you're a little star too but anyway, guys, that wraps up today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up down below because it helps a ton. Consider subscribing and seeing more content like this. Join the team. We'd love to have you here. And with all that being said and all that being done, A-Team out!